Yeah, hi. Good evening, everyone. Am I audible? Is it streaming? Is it streaming? Could somebody confirm if we are streaming now? Are we streaming? Yeah, it would be good. Good evening, all of you. Good evening, all of you. Uh, yes, welcome to the big month of October. Let I welcome all of you to the big month of October. So because it's big from the perspective that come November, it's all altogether a different situation. So naturally, that's a month in which we will be taking quite a few number of good exams. Some of you may be writing NMAT, some maybe this month also, or it's NMAT followed by CAT, followed by IFT followed by snap and followed by zat so many things so many so many so many happenings developments we'll see from the coming months so therefore this is one big month wherein we can fully put in those kind of efforts right so let's welcome this month let's welcome this month and let's pray and hope that we will be able to do something good in this particular month if we can win this particular month naturally it is a good start a good start getting into the month of november the exam season all right, so here we are. So what we'll do is we will explore a concept of permutation as we were speaking yesterday. We'll try and explore one of the concepts. It has tiny, tiny, again, you could say that, hey, concepts are technically about four or five when it comes to permutation, but permutation and combination, but applications are plenty, right? Applications are plenty. So I am picking one of those applications today and we will explore the breadth and the depth of that particular application. That's what we kind of do. Yeah, it's a nice feeling that at 4-ish in the evening we are trying to do because I generally don't do the lectures at 4-ish. 4-ish is a very good feeling. I used to do around 2-ish. 2-ish is also a good time. I'm not saying no, uh, but 4 looks even much better. I, I felt so. I felt so uh, within my spirits. This looks <laughs> this looks better than 2-ish in the afternoon. Okay, so this is where we are and let me quickly introduce myself. Hi, welcome all of you. Welcome all of you. I can see some of you being there. Who is who is there? Can you guys put in your names out here? Say yes or just can I read your name so that we can exchange our greetings? Somebody out here, you guys can put in your names here. Somebody has put in as a droid. Pahil is here, I guess. Okay. Ruthvik is here. Okay. Right. Vibha is there. All right. So you guys can put in your name. So you can put in your not. You don't have to put your name as such. So you can kind of uh, just exchange the greeting so that I will also get to understand that okay, you are here in the meeting. So meanwhile, let me also introduce myself. So I'm Belvi Srinivas. I've been working in this industry since 2007, as most of you know. That's about 14 years now. So over a period of time, uh, with respect to the time I spent both in terms of management as well as training the students and the trainers. So I did develop some acute good skills to train the students in the areas of QA, DI and LR, although I can counsel overall with respect to verbal ability as well. That's that's a little bit of my background with respect to the training perspective. And if you are seeking any short counseling or very brief discussions, you can always join this particular Telegram channel. And you can post some of your short brief concerns wherein I can come back and respond or anybody, any already any any of the uh, any of the peer group who are there in that particular telegram group will also try and respond to you and you will not miss the notifications or any concerns that you have. You can always hop in using this particular telegram group. Before we start, yes, let me quickly introduce the courses being offered by an academy. It offers two kinds of subscriptions. One of them is a plus. The other one is iconic, which is represented as star. Uh, yes, I call, plus subscription gives you the structured courses in the sense various uh, trainers or various educators try to put up the courses, which is uh, be it level one, level two, level three, based on different needs. They will come out with different courses at different point in time. So that's what we mean by the structured courses across the areas that you find these kind of courses. Multiple batches could be running parallelly. You can be a part of any number of batches at a time. So along with that, yes, of course, you do get weekly tests, study material, all that stuff. So benefit of Iconic is you will get one-to-one -one interaction. So yes, interactions may be with respect to the B-School selection, the application filling, or any with respect to the questions related to application filling, form filling, basically. Or it could be the questions related with your concepts, or it can be study plan. 
it, it can be test improvements, how to improve the scores and tests. So you can take one-to-one -one discussion based on your own thoughts, what that is strengths and weaknesses. You can have those one-to-one -one discussion. You can fix up a meeting with one of your favorite educators and you can have these kind of discussions. That's what it does. Yes, plus these are the, these are the subscription charges for six month subscription, 18 month subscription or 24 month subscription. All of this comes at 10% discount if you use any of the educator code, including my code, which is Bellevue 100. You can use any of the educator code, you get this 10% discount. So if you are looking, if you are prepping for CAT 21, I know that most of those who are attending my lectures are prepping for CAT 21. So if you are planning a subscription, not planned one, so I suggest you take for Iconic because still March, at least from now, Till March, April, you might need handful of one-to-one, one-to-one sessions. So because you will get some tiny, tiny doubts with respect to some interview-related questions, VAT-related questions, or you want to understand some of the B-school background. So, so when you want to have those kind of discussions, it'll, even it can be test improvement in this particular month or next month. So one-to-one -one interactions would certainly help. So that's what you should be kind of. That's what I recommend technically. Yes, so today is the day in which either yesterday or today you should be taking one mock. If you have not done that, take one full length mock today. Today you are supposed to be taking in case you have not taken yesterday. Some of you might have taken Wednesday itself. That's a different issue. But if you have not taken a mock on Wednesday or Thursday, this can be a better day. Slot it. Maybe slot it. Take some rest after this lecture. Slot today one of the tests and no better day than today to start that particular test followed by one test on Sunday. Sunday, you must write a test, no doubt about it. Therefore, don't pack a test for tomorrow, 2nd, 2nd October, Gandhi Jayanti, yes, right? So all that is fine, but writing two tests back to back may not be a good idea. So probably take one today, take one tomorrow. If you guys have already taken one between yesterday and today, it is good. Otherwise, no better day than today to start the test because first of the month, it's a nice beginning. Scores doesn't matter, but get into some resolutions, make some hard, strong resolutions saying that every Friday I write a test, every Sunday I write a test or every Thursday I write a test. Make some strong resolutions, probably whatever the goals you had last month. Put up few, add few more goals to it. Make such strong resolute will and then start chasing them. That's kind of important. Yes, if you are on the plus platform or on the iconic platform, you always get two full length tests per week, sectional tests, and OMETs, all that stuff. All right, that brings us to the kind of close of our uh, announcements. Let's get into the lecture. Now, before we get in, can I quickly know who are all there in the meeting? You can quickly exchange greetings. I could see some of the names. Ritwik, Sahil, Vibhas, Saurabh, Rishav, Sumit. Welcome, guys. Welcome. Anybody else? May know anybody else in the meeting? Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. So anybody else? Could you guys put in there? Oh, that's nice. They want you. Sristi is there. That's good. That's good. Yeah, Rishav. Yeah, mm, that's nice. I already read your name. I know you are there. Yeah. Okay. Cool. All right. This makes sense. Fine. Okay. Let's get it. So what is that we are trying to do? What is that we are trying to do? Again, as I said, so since we are very close to CAT, we are doing on the job kind of training in the sense we are not saying that, hey, I will start with what is definition of permutation, start with what is fundamental principle of counting. We are not trying to do in that fashion. That's not the route that we are taking. We are saying that, hey, let's let's solid let, now. Let's take a particular concept One of some of the important concepts which we think that probably either in CAT or ZAT or IFT, one of the prominent entrance exams, you will get benefited by knowing that particular concept is what we are trying to discuss, right? On the job training is maybe a short background about that particular concept, followed by the applications built on that particular concept. Since probably this is the first lecture I'm doing on counting, I will go a little slower because it's the first one. So there would be a cold start to the beginning of the season. I'm not sure how many of you have done some pre-reads. Yesterday, the, all those who attended lecture yesterday, could you guys do any pre-reads on permutation combination? Anything that you did for at least half an hour or one hour? Can you confirm it in the chat? Anything you did on permutation combination, doesn't matter what you did. Oh yeah, something I did, at least I looked at NPR, NCR, something on fundamental principle of counting. Can you put it in the chat that how many of you could do the pre-reads? How many of you could do the pre-reads? Put that everybody, please put your names, not your names, put yes, whatever, all right, whatever the message. How many of you could honestly do the pre-reads? Don't, don't all right, try to please me by saying, yeah, I did kind of. No need to please. If you have done it, put it as what you did on the pre-reads. 
Devanshu did the pre-reads. Rishti has done the pre-reads. Only two of you out of so many people. Okay. See, I also, right? No, so I, so for me also, my professors used to give a lot of pre-reads. A lot of pre-reads. A lot. Hundreds of pages of pre-reads in B-schools as I keep telling, right? But yeah, spend half an hour, half an hour or one hour, right? I generally tend to spend at least an hour or so. Okay, I'm not saying that I'm super genius so that half an hour or one hour was enough. That's not the idea. It's just the feeling of guilt that I have not done the pre-reads. At least I had that little bit of guilt that, hey, somebody asked me to do some pre-reads and if I have, with all due respect to the professor, a little bit of pre-read, if not something worst case scenario, half an hour, right? Worst case scenario, half an hour or one hour, generally close to one hour. So that's what I also expect. I'm not saying that you have to study exhaustively, but when I say do some pre-reads, at least, right? No, so you ensure that hereafter, that can be one of the resolutions that you should take because pre-reads are going to be a part of your life hereafter, right? And there will be enough reasons why we should not the pre-read, right? If you want to give the reasons why one should not the pre-read, so there will be enough of them because at B-School, every day you have pre-reads. Therefore, every day you can always find a reason why you have not done the pre-read. The idea is not giving a reason. Although you cannot do the 100% of the pre-reads, so let's do at least 25% of pre-reads. That should be the target. Some pre-reads to get that, uh, get, get that momentum. Guys, are you getting this, what I'm trying to say? So next time, I don't want to see anybody saying that I didn't do pre-reads. If you know that you have to do a pre-reads, if you know that, if you don't know, that's a different issue. But if we know that you should do a pre-reads, I expect that everybody does the pre-reads. Agreed? Can you at least agree with me? Yes, we will try. We will try at least have the attitude of, we will try kind of, we will try kind of, we will not barge into the lecture, we will try doing some pre-reads, right? Let's start by saying that let's give a great try. If you say you will give a great try, you will do it. No big deal about it. I'm not saying you should do 100%. Okay, Vritrik uh, Rishav says yes, Devanshu says yes, Adroit, is that the name? Uh, it looks more like an English word. Adroit says yes, maybe name as well. Okay, good. Ritwik is saying yes. Okay, Aman is also yes. Good. Yeah, at least like this attitude. Sahil, yeah, try, try. Now that's what I'm saying. Try. There will be always excuses. Uh, Praharshita, nice name. Praharshita is also says yes. Great. All right, good. That's nice. That's nice to understand that at least you all want to give the try from this month. Please do that. That helps all of us. All right, it helps me. It helps you. All of this. Let's understand this because you might have heard this. Those who are with me, uh, Adroit is Rishab. Oh, all right, Rishab. Okay, that's Rishab. Got it. Mm. Okay, yeah. Uh, fine. Uh, so what, what we did, in algebra also we came across this term. This is one of the sample equation. Right? This is one of the sample equation which we kind of did where 5 times of x plus 19 times of y is equal to 64. In fact, this was a cat equation, right? This was a cat equation. Question was a little different. I just told you on this cat equation, question was a how many positive integral solutions are there? Same equation, I can ask you how many non-negative integral solutions are there? Now, what we are doing using PNC is we will come one scale down and then we will go up. What do you mean by one scale down? Take the same equation, remove the coefficients, no coefficient of x, no coefficient of y. That's what I'm doing. Hey, coefficient of x is 1. Remove any other coefficient other than 1. Put the coefficient of x as 1. Put the coefficient of y as 1. Put the coefficient of z as 1. Any number of variables doesn't matter. Equal to 64. Let's try and find positive integral solutions to this. Something like this. This is what we are trying to attempt today. So based on this, how the cat questions would be, we will see. This is the concept we are trying to make an attempt, right? Yeah. Same way here, hey, what about non-negative integral solutions on the same equation? So it's, it's pretty similar. So all I want you to understand is, hey, when we did the algebra module on the special class as a part of one of the inequalities, linear inequalities, as a part of that integral solutions, we studied equation like this. All right, this is what we kind of studied. What I'm trying to attempt today is, hey, remove this coefficients remove these coefficients and let's keep the coefficients as one simple coefficient as one and let's try and attempt here this is all we are trying to do today if you ask me this is the difference this i called it under inequalities chapter this we are trying to count these kind of solutions under the permutation and combination chapter that's the difference there let me quickly illustrate this particular concept maybe all right i can start with the questions but then yeah 
so since i'm doing the first lecture so let me give a little bit of background to understand hey there is solid four types these are the groupings this we study under the concept of grouping 11th standard or 10th standard i'm sure the books will put this under the grouping there are four types of groupings of course all four are kind of important from cat perspective i'm not denying that hey, others are not important but this is much more important when compared with others right this is little more important compared with others there are four types different to similar what is this five different marbles three similar boxes in how many ways say i just just i'm trying to explain hey what are these different similar you are talking about in how many ways five different marbles can be placed in three similar boxes can be one question which could be different from how many ways five different marbles can be placed in three differently looking boxes that's again a different question right which can be again different from hey five similar marbles in how many ways five similar marbles can be placed in c similar boxes it becomes another variety right yeah similarly how many ways five similar marbles can be placed in three different boxes becomes another variety right okay so there are concepts which are involved behind all of this if you look at this hey the concept behind the first one is ncr right similar different to similar it is built on the concept of what ncr a second one is built on the concept of what npr second i mean or vaguely hey will it be exactly ncr is it exactly ncr i am not talking about that it is built on that concept of course related with certain conditions right the conditions all right so ncr is the concept here npr is the concept here there is already now so here it has to be done kind of little more manually pattern pattern is the concept i cannot really use any ncr or npr for this right here all right we use the concept of n factorial divided by p factorial q factorial you may wonder okay so you might have connected with this what i'm trying to say i'm sure everybody would have connected with what i'm saying ncr you might have connected with this sure you might have connected with this just in case you want to understand if i say that hey how many seven letter words can be formed by using all the letters of the word success say by using seven how many seven letter words can be found i'm giving an illustration to this i'm giving an illustration to this just listen because we're getting into the groove of it how many seven letter words can be formed by using all the letters of the word success simple so what do you do segregation you say that hey, how many s's are there you have three s's you say that hey these three put them together how many c's are there there are two c's put them together then you have one u and one e you say that all together there are seven had all seven been distinct it would have been seven factorial however since these three look similar you say that divide this by three factorial this is what you say p things are alike all right, that is these three things are alike therefore all right by re rearranging them i don't get a different word and similarly you say these two things are alike you say these are q things that is two things are alike by rearranging c with a c i don't get a different word therefore you divide this by two factorial that is what i was trying to say that n factorial by p factorial q factorial one way of understanding similar to different that is how many ways five similar marbles can be put in three different boxes one way of understanding or just to understand what is the concept hidden behind this grouping is n factorial divided by p factorial q factorial okay give me first level of quick understanding that okay we connected no i'm not saying that okay we connected with the word ncr we connected with the word npr and we connected with the word n factorial by p factorial q factorial how it got connected don't worry at least we understand these three circled things give a quick conf confirmation guys quick 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 because first for first topic i am doing with you so i don't know already know what to to what extent to say or no what not to say therefore i am asking a quick confirmation quickly confirm that these three circles are kind of clear i am not saying that you have to connect this circle to this that's a later issue connecting we will do later connecting we will do later at least the circled portion is clear what we are talking the connect this portion is clear then how to connect we will think later that's another issue for the day yeah hi mr martin hello hello yeah yeah all right so all of you are getting connected that's super 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 yeah then fine comfortable all right we are good to go further we are good to go further now let's understand this let's understand this let me take a simple question to illustrate first let's nail down the concept hey, how it is n factorial by p factorial q factorial let us take this example then we will jump into the problem solving right once we understand this we will quickly jump into the problem solving because some of you might want to understand how it is n factorial by p factorial q factorial what is this you are trying to talk about right so some of you would be already pretty clear and some of you may be wondering what is this this guy is talking so let me clarify that in 5 minutes time then we will go further now take a look at this question 
take a look at this question just read it along with me as we do the concept i am not expecting any answer listen first in how many ways five identical marbles can be distributed among three children abc such that a child may or may not receive receive marbles a child may or may not receive in the sense giving zero is fine technically what is that you are trying to say you are trying to say this okay a plus b plus c is equal to five I am saying that you can give 0 here, you can give 2 here, 2 to this fellow and 1 marble to this fellow. I am also saying that hey, I am okay doing even this man. So you can give 3 to this fellow, 2 to this fellow and 0 to this fellow. I am fine with it. I am also fine by saying that you can give all 5 to this fellow and give these 2 zeros to this fellow. All these are the ways of distribution. Now technically, hey, how many ways you can distribute 2 to 1? One way. This distribution happens in one way. Why this distribution happens in one way? You may say that, sir, there are two marbles here. Isn't it I should be writing 5C2? No, you will not write it as 5C2 because it is not NCR. When do I use NCR? Only when N things are different. NCR is used only when given N things are different. Otherwise, you kind of don't use this NCR. So what is that I'm talking? Look here, five identical marbles. Assume that you have five red marbles. So you have five red marbles. I said that, hey, I'm sending three kids in front of you, ABC. Please give two, uh, two marbles to A, two marbles to B and one marble to C. This is what I said here. So how many ways you can do it? Only one way. Take any two and give it to this fellow. That is one way. Take any other two and give it to this fellow and take the remaining one and give it to this fellow. Therefore, distribution of two to one happens in only one way. You may say that, sir, what about I want decided to give one here and three here and one here. Same, this also, this configuration also can be dealt in one way. You look at A, you have to give him one. Which one doesn't matter? First, you gave this one, you took this back and you said that no 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 i will give you this one man how does it matter they are all same marbles isn't it so therefore you give one here you give any three here therefore each configuration is dealt in one way and hence when i created this question how many ways five different five identical marbles can be distributed among three children i am saying okay man this is one configuration second configuration third con first configuration second configuration third configuration like this there will be some nth configuration how many configurations the number of configurations is nothing but our answer right number of configuration uh, ajay will you stop spamming will you stop spamming yeah yeah type anything that is relevant otherwise all right now stop spamming let's behave in a matured way let's behave in a matured way that will make sense because i'll be reading i'll, I'll also be looking at the chart sometimes all right often i'll have one eye sometimes on the chart for a simple reason that if a student is asking something there which is relevant to what i'm saying i may have to respond isn't it yeah and you keep spamming I'm afraid that I might miss out on the important things, right? So therefore, don't spam it, right? Let's behave maturely. So let's be responsible. Although we are using social media, let's be responsible. Okay. Yeah. All right. Fair enough. I hope you understood my message. Great. All right. So therefore, let's we are, we are saying that n base is what we are kind of looking at. Second thing that we do here, right? Second thing that we can do here. Okay. Just a second, guys. Yes, guys. All right. We are back. Let's get let's get going. Yeah, here we go. All right. Sorry for that brief interruption. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Are we up to date? Yeah. So here we go. Let's get on. Let's get on to this. 
all right yeah so how do i do this how do i do this yes as sahil is saying that the division so what i do now listen carefully all right there was a brief interruption the momentum gets cut when we do such things all right let's get back let's plug in ourselves into the lecture let's all plug back into the lecture so the abc can also fight if i divide it now division point of view first is division how do i divide it if i ask you if i allow you to arrange these five marbles divide it technically you will put one line and you say that if i put one line it got divided into two parts right it got divided into two parts so if i say that hey i want to divide this into three parts if i want to divide this into three parts you may have to put two lines you may have to put two lines right so if you want to divide into three parts you may have to put two lines hey what if you want to divide this into or you want to divide this into four three parts right you want to divide this into four parts naturally you may have to put three lines then it will get divided into three parts this is one part between the lines is the second part this is the third part and this is the fourth part right yes this is what kind of happens out here so now listen so therefore considering this i want this to be divided into three parts because i have three kids however since i want to stop fighting between them saying that i want more marbles i want less marbles i'll put the clear protocols to the left of the first line always belongs to a to the right of the last line belongs to c in between the line belongs to b this is the protocol that i set what is the protocol that we set to the left of the first line always belongs to a to the right of the last line that's the last line belong to c to the in between belongs to b and hence if i want to rewrite this hey if you arrange these marbles like this five marbles and five let, let me write it once again here so if i just put these five marbles out here and if i put the lines here what is the meaning meaning is a gets these marbles b get these marbles and c gets these marbles in the sense you are saying that 2 1 2 let me take the same marbles let me take the same marbles what if i had put the line something like this or let what if i had put the line something like this now you are trying to say that a gets one marble b gets three marble and c gets one marble right that is what you mean hey what if i put the lines like this let's quickly understand this marbles are still there intact what if i put the lines like this a says that man bad luck i am not getting anything c says bad luck i am not getting anything b says i am get every, getting everything 0 5 0 hey what if i would have put the marble something like this what if i would have put the lines somewhere here like this now you were trying to say that a gets three marbles b gets zero and c gets two so you were trying to say that three zero and you are saying that you are going to get two out here guys is this making some sense what we are trying to say it's all about where you are placing the lines is that clear shall we conclude on this quick quick somebody respond in the chat is this making sense what we are talking quickly quickly right right very good very good yeah the last one case i will do just for reconfirmation i will do last one case can i put the two lines here why not anywhere you can put you have two sticks two lines you write those two lines anywhere in this case you are trying to say that a gets all five marbles b gets none and c gets none in this case you are trying to say that it is 5 0 0 how do i illustrate this what is this we are talking about where is that n factorial p factorial q factorial coming into picture let's assume that each circle is x let's assume that each circle is x because circle each marble or each circle in this case what we represented each one of them is x let's assume that each of these lines is y you can draw similar lines line is a line so i can say that okay both lines are y and hence i could say hey what is that i have i have five x's with me and i have two y's with me in this question i have five x's with me let's assume that each circle i am representing by an alphabet called x and each line i am representing by a alphabet called y so therefore what are the objects you have you have 5x and 2y now i am saying that hey every arrangement this is an arrangement of the objects this is another arrangement of the same object this is another arrangement of the objects you are just taking the circles and the lines and rearranging them so therefore you say how many arrangements are possible number of arrangements this is nothing but permutation number of arrangements of these objects is 7 factorial since these five are similar you divide by 5 factorial since these two are similar you divide by 2 factorial this is where the concept of n factorial by p factorial q factorial is falling into the picture right so if you wanted to understand that where is this n factorial p factorial this is where it is coming into the picture now under this case since these two numbers not factorials only numbers 5 plus 2 
adds up to 7. This can also be therefore written as 7C2 or it can also be written as 7C5. Whenever sum of these two numbers adds up to this number, we can write it like this. For example, hey, what if I have 9 factorial divided by 4 factorial 5 factorial since these two numbers add up to this particular number this can be either written as 9c4 or it can be written as 9c5 hey, what if i had a number 9 factorial by 7 factorial 2 factorial this can be written as because since these two numbers adds up to 9 you can either write it as 9c2 or you can write as a 9c7 it's a representation sometimes n factorial p factorial q factorial in case p plus q adds up to n can be written as all it now n c q or it can be written as n c p provided p plus q is also equal to n that is something probably you have to keep it in mind okay now we kind of understood this particular concept now listen to me very very carefully how do i represent this particular thought what is this consolidation we are trying to do whenever we said that i have five identical marbles to be distributed i'm consolidating then we are going to applications five identical marbles to be distributed among three children abc such that if a child may get or may not get a particular marble you would say this is the condition always the lower limit should be zero this method works only for non-negative integral solution which means drawing the circles putting the lines this method works only for non-negative integral solution otherwise it doesn't work how do you ensure that non-negative integral solution this is the condition you put in mind can i give zero to a i'm not saying that simultaneously you give everybody zero no given a choice can i make this zero and give five here and make this zero that's a choice you think of can i give zero to a all right so bring it down can i give zero to b can i give zero to c if this condition is true then you say that hey these five i would call it as 5x and these two positive signs i call it as 5 2 y 2 plus signs the plus signs itself you can take it as the line of division you can call it as 2y and hence total answer you have 2y's and 5x together you have seven objects seven factorial divided by two factorial five factorial this can also be written as 7c2 or 7c5 all these values are same one condition people miss out while answering these questions is they sometimes forget to check that hey the values of abc can be zero if it cannot be zero you should not apply this concept condition is clear condition is clear shall we jump to problems condition is clear everybody condition of zero is clear what if it is not zero we will discuss what if it is not zero we'll discuss this is the concept concept is dealt quick 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 quickly respond the condition of zero is clear this is something which skips the people's mind often people it skips that mind and they start creating some issues because of that they kind of get some wrong answers etc all right good all right good so at least 10 of you kind of understood this now let's take a look at these questions let's take a look at these questions we will do some of them together and then i will give you a halt as to how we should understand so what has happened here i just increase the number of marbles nine identical marbles one warm up then we will get to cat question nine identical marbles among three children abc three four questions i created first one a child may or may not receive a marble it's as good as what we did now original this is nothing but the standard problem standard second one each child should receive at least one marble right that's the second one which means now it's not in the standard i have to bring it down to the standard so then we will take a look at three and four just after we look at first two questions because that will set us a warm-up here let's do the first question what is the first question a plus b plus c is equal to nine so standard hey zero is allowed which means what i can have this condition in place and then you say that hey, because they are similar objects i will say that these nine are x's and these two pluses i will write it as 2y together i have 11 objects 11 factorial divided by 2 factorial 9 factorial i can write this as 11 c2 or i can write this as 11 c9 or i can simplify this and i can write this as 11 into 10 divided by 2 all right which is also nothing but 55 technically my answer is 55 which way you represent doesn't matter to me all right let's take a look at the second question let's take a look at the second question what is he saying in the second question each child should receive at least one marble same nine identical marbles 
same three kids a b c but each child should receive at least one marble what do we do in this particular case now author is saying this first understand what is author's concern he says that man it should be minimum one this is what he's saying but you said that hey we learned a concept that concept works only if i bring it down to zero only if I bring it down to zero, that concept work. Otherwise, it doesn't work. Now, what you do anyway, they are identical marbles. Call A, give him one. Call B, which means assume that they are sitting right in front of you. Call A, give him one marble. Call B, give him also one marble. Call C, give him one marble. When you give one marble, you cannot do 9C1 because those nine marbles are not different. When you give one marble, one way. So, which means this one, when you called A and gave one marble, this was dealt in one way. When you called B and gave him one marble, that is also one way because marbles are similar. When you gave him one marble, that is also one way. So, hence, your count got reduced by three marbles because three marbles, because you wanted to meet this condition of one so you gave him one to reduce this equation to now you say that out of the remaining marbles i can give zero why because already you gave one to each of these fellows and hence you say that hey my equation got reduced to six because i i already distributed three marbles one each now i brought it down to the original condition any question not in the original condition give those and bring it down to the original condition now you say that okay i am the king of these six marbles 6x because I was not the king of those one marble each which I had to give according to condition this 6 or I am the king on 6 and I have 2 pluses that is 2 2 y's therefore you say that a response to this particular question is 8 factorial divided by 2 factorial and 6 factorial or 8 c 2 or 8 c 6 whichever way okay did you understand this clear here which means sometimes the numbers cannot be reduced. Numbers need not be at zero. You bring it down to zero before you apply the concept. Clear, my friends? Everybody clear? Can I assume that we are all clear on this? We are all clear on this. Bring it down to zero before you apply the concept of n factorial by p factorial q factorial. Right? Quick, quick, quick. We have to reach cat questions quickly. Quickly. I think I took a lot of time to illustrate the concept. Nevertheless, first lecture on PNC. It's okay to spend the time. Hey, other than Ritwik, Sahil, others also, why don't you guys quickly confirm on this? Yeah, great, great, great. We buy is clear, Varshini, great. Yeah, let's take a look at this third and fourth question. Why don't you guys try the third one and put the answer in the chat? Try the third one. Everybody try the third one. Same information, nine identical marbles, three kits distribute them based on the condition given in the third question try it out put the numbers to perspective fast give me the value don't write ncr you can calculate and give me the answer you can give me the number Drop the number quickly, drop the number. Yeah, that's right, that's right, Varshini, that's right, Suristi, good. Rishav, Sahil, that's good, very good, very good. Vibhav, Ritvik, all your answers are right. Perfect. All right, all your answers are right. Fantastic. So you are now trying to say that, hey, A plus B plus C, I should give 9, of which B should get minimum 2, C should get minimum 3, but no condition on A. No condition on A means nothing. All right, there is absolutely no condition on A. No condition on A means what? You can give whatever you like. All right, that's it. So, but he says that for B, you should give 2 and C should get 3. What about A? Nothing is mentioned. Nothing is mentioned means your wish. All right, your wish, whoever is distributing, it is the wish of that particular person. In, in this case, you are solving the problem therefore your wish what you want to give but b and c is not your wish you got to meet the minimum requirement and hence what you will say they call b hand over two marbles to this fellow which two doesn't matter one way because all are identical marbles which marble you give how does it matter it's not that red yellow white black colors are there same colors same marbles okay call c and give this fellow three so therefore five marbles are out out of nine marbles now you reduce it hence you therefore you rewrite this 
I gave the minimum requirement for B and C. Therefore, out of the remaining marbles, so you are already out of five marbles, out of the remaining four marbles, whatever you wish to do, you can. Do you want to give zero to B? You can because you already met their minimum requirements. There is absolutely no issue. Hence, you say that you are the king on this 4x and you have this 2y. So, which is nothing but as you said, 6 factorial by 2 factorial, 4 factorial, 62 or 64, all these are the ways of representation. I asked you to give me the number. Number is simply 15. 15 becomes the number. Fair enough. Now, all of you try the fourth one. All of you make an effort to try, try, try the fourth one. Why don't you guys try the fourth one? Try the fourth one. Try the fourth one. Good. The concept is clear now. Since most of you answered the third question, that says that concept is very clear. Now try the fourth one. Faster, faster. Hmm. Okay, all right. Now think, all right, that's fine, that's fine. All right, I gave some reflection time, that's good. Think alongside me. So what is that we are trying to say? Okay, A plus B plus C should be equal to 9 such that whatever A gets should not be equal to B. What B gets should not be equal to C. This is the condition we are talking about. Now, so this number is 9. It is fine. What if it is a larger number? How do we deal with this? Should it be done manually? Not necessarily. What is the algorithm that we kind of follow on this? Right? The algorithm that we follow is simply this. So what we say is, hey, three cases are possible when the kids come out. They say that we all got equal. So three cases, all three equal. Look at the cases here. Number one, first case can be all three equal. That is possible. All right, all three equal. Second case is exactly two of them got equal. Exactly two of them reported equal numbers. Right. Third one is no two of them reported equal numbers. No two are equal. These are the only three possibilities. For example, when they come and say that, hey, A, B, C, now they are saying that, hey, we all got three each. Right. This is an example for the first case. For the second case, this could be an example. You may say that, hey, this is four, four and one. This can be an example of the second case. Two of them coming and reporting that we got equal number of marbles. The third case, it could be zero, one and eight. It is an example of the third case. Right. These are the three cases. Right. These are the three in the sense when they come out, there will not be a fourth case. You may say you may not say that I will. Hey, I'm thinking of another fourth case. There is no fourth case. Either they come back and report the same number. Assume that you distributed. I'm standing near the door outside. I'm saying that, hey, guys, what, what did you get? They may come back and report all equal numbers or two of them might report the same number. Which two? That I don't know. In this example, I'm saying that A and B might have reported the same number. And all right, no two of them will report the same number. I am talking about this. I want the case three. Okay, therefore, what is the total of all these three cases? If I put case one and answer for case two and answer for case three, all these three put together what? Total? Total, that is the total. So what is the total? Total, I already know if there is nine and two positive lines, total is nine, the total is 11 C2. All right, that is my total. Total was 11 C2. Do I know the total? Yes, I know the total was 55. So therefore, the best way to deal with this question is what? Total minus answer to case one. This is my case one. Answer to case one minus answer to case two gives me the what is the answer to case three because case three is what I'm expecting. So best way to deal with this particular question when the numbers get larger is total minus case one minus case two. I don't think I have to explain the total to you. Total we are all comfortable. This is 11 C2. Case one happens only in one way because equal distribution is possible only in one way unless I give three, three, 
3 there is no question of equal distribution there is only one way that i got to reduce minus now i'm coming to exactly two. this is where we may have to think a little bit all right let's do the thinking here a plus b plus c is equal to 9 exactly two of them get the equal number of marbles that's the question we are talking about okay for the time being let's assume that a and b get the equal number of marbles but c does not assume it's a pattern i'm trying to develop a pattern saying that a and b gets the equal number of marbles but not c okay what is that equal zero zero therefore nine or i say that one one therefore seven i would say that two two all it therefore five 3, 3, therefore 3. No, this is all 3 equal. I don't want this case. I don't want this case. Then I would say that hey, this is 4, 4. Therefore, this guy gets 1. 5, 5. This guy, hey, how can you give 5, 5, right? Therefore, you say that the pattern has come to an end. But the point is, hey, this pattern can be, this pattern can be rearranged in 3 ways. Each pattern can be dealt in 3 ways. Let me explain this 0, 0, 9. What do you mean by this can be dealt in three ways. When A plus B plus C is equal to 9, you said that that case is 0, 0, 9. Point is, you said that 9 is given to C and the other two folks are getting 0. But the point is, all right, now that is because you took a decision that A and B are equal but not C. It could be A and C are equal but not B, right? It could be A, B and C are equal but not A. And then each number can be permuted in three ways. You can give 9 here and you can make the other two folks 0. Or you can make this 9 and you can make the other two folks 0. Therefore, each pattern can be permuted in three ways therefore this is in three ways this is in three ways this is also in three ways nothing but hey i have four cases four into three twelve cases i am reducing twelve cases what is that you are trying to say there are a total of 55 cases of which one case is the one case is where all three are equal and there are 12 cases in which exactly two of them are going to get the equal numbers and then reduce 13 out of this Right, reduce 13 out of this. Therefore, the remaining 42 will have no two of them getting the equal number of marbles. Are you getting this, my friends? Everybody comfortable here? Did you all understand this? Give a quick thumbs up. Did you understand this? This is where we are going closer to cat now. This is what cat does. This is what cat does. That's how they kind of help us to understand. They say that yes, I will test you that concept of whatever you learned, but that will be only a part of the question. Total will be the part of the question. Rest of the permutations also come inside the picture. Are you learning something? Did you understand this? This question is clear. Srishti, you are asking what if the number is large? Okay, take 100. Take 100. You want large number? You want a three digit number? Take the three digit number or you take whatever the number you want. It doesn't matter. What number you want, Srishti? How large you want? Make it a little practical also. Because you are distributing marbles, three kids are there. How large you want? Type it, type it, type it. You only type it. What number you want? How large? Because you are saying that you, what if it is large? Tell, tell the number. Tell the number. Put it, put it. I am waiting for your number. 100. All right. Good. 100. 100. Right? Where A not equal to B not equal to C. All right, guys. Think, everybody think. You can give answer in terms of whichever way you want. Something, something, NC or something, something also. It's fine. Go ahead. Everybody go ahead. Try this for one minute. Then we will discuss. One minute you think about it. Everybody think about it. Nice question. Srishti has this doubt. Let's resolve it. Let's resolve it. Good doubt. Because in the exam, it will be large number, of course. Need not be as large as 100. I have not seen 100. That's okay. That's okay. Generally, it will be in 30s kind of, right? 20s, 30s is what I've seen. Doesn't matter. Yeah. How many ways? 100 identical marbles can be distributed among three kids ABC such that no two of them get equal number of marbles. Mm, that's right, Sahil. That's right. What you said is right. That's right. Okay. Yeah. Fine. Do it with me, friends. Do it with me. Do it with me. Same three cases will linger in your mind. Those things will come into your mind. Hey, what is case one? All three equal. Right. This is the pattern of thinking. This is a pattern of thinking. Case two, what can happen when three kids are there when they come out? Right. What they can say. Exactly two are equal. 
right exactly to report the same number exactly to equal in sense two of them come and report the same number what about the case 3 case 3 is all it now so then then you come to the case 3 case 3 is what all three, no two are equal no two are equal i am interested in case 3 and all these three cases put together becomes what total so this structure is already in your mind you don't have to do it once you practice these structures would be in your mind so all you do in this question is what total minus i will remove case 1 i will remove case 2 i will end up with the answer which is nothing but case 3 fair enough let's go to the total total is nothing but 102 c2 we can calculate that number right 102 into 101 divided by 2 we can calculate even in case they would have given some large three digit four digit number we can calculate that 102 c2 is what we are going to write there what about case one zero all right case one is zero because he's saying that all three equal not possible not possible with 100 because 100 is not divisible by 3 not possible that's a not not possible case not possible this case is not possible but that's a way of thinking but when they come out they can report same numbers because it is 100 marbles it is impossible that anybody could divide them into three equal parts now you may say that no sir he will give 33 33 33 then the question is who is taking this one i asked him to distribute you can't keep it in your pocket right distribute means what nothing should be left at the end of the distribution that's what the question was about so therefore you can't say that i'll give 33 33 33 i'll keep one in that case i will say that you then you give one 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 and keep the remaining 97 for yourself that's also equal distribution no we are not talking about that let's be clear right okay so zero case two now look at the case two again make the same kind of pattern in your mind a plus b plus c is equal to 100 tell in your mind that let a be equal to b but not c and we can permute those cases later let's permute it so you will say that zero zero therefore all 100 here one one therefore the remaining 98 here 2, 2, therefore remaining 96 here. Fine, all right. So like this, till where you can write 50, 50, therefore 0 here. Okay, how many cases? Very easy to count. I mean, you don't have to write all of them. With practice, it comes in your mind itself. Okay, what is that? This is one case. This is the second case. This is the third case. Up to 50, 0, 1, 2, up to 50, 0 to 50, 50 you have written, which means how many cases you have written? 51 cases you have written. Each case can be distributed in how many ways? Three ways. Each case can be distributed in how many ways? Three ways. Therefore, you would say that hey, this is 51 into 3. Subtract. That is nothing but your answer. Because each case 0, 0, 100 can be distributed in three ways. Hey, why this 100 should go to C? That's a question, right? Why 100 should be given to C? 100 can be given to B also. 100 can be given to A also. Each case can be distributed in three ways. And hence, the answer is 100 C2 minus 51 into 3. Understood, my friends? Clear? Srishti, did this answer you? Is that clear? clear that is it no big deal patterns will come out right patterns would come out right hmm. see once you understand the concept numbers will only make drag drag it little bit that's it yes ha huh. It will just drag it in the sense calculation might take time. That's it. All right. 100 C2 calculation would take time. This will take time. This might take little time. Say how many cases? 50 or 51. What is that exactly kind of? So it will it'll just become a little tedious with the larger numbers. The same concept becomes a little tedious. That's it. But the concept once we understand, it's only a matter of time. It's only a matter of time before we get to the answers. All right. So here we come. So now where is algebra? All right, this is where the algebra comes. Now take a look at the same questions. Cat also represents these questions in this particular fashion. Take a look at them. So all the same questions that we did, where are these four questions? Let's quickly revisit because you need to understand they might not give us the objects like this. Instead, they might give us the equations where a lot of people tend to think that, man, what kind of equation I got it here, kind of, right? Okay, now see here, nine identical marbles, three children, ABC, such that a child may or may not receive a marble. Each child receives at least one marble. B receives two and C receives three, all of that. No two children receive the same number of marbles now take a look at this particular slide exactly same question now i'm giving an equation x plus y plus z is equal to 9 i removed the three children abc i gave a algebraic equation x plus y plus z is equal to 9 find the number of non-negative integral solution same question a child may or may not receive a marble can also be used as a find the number of non-negative integral solution half the people who are far from algebra they will think that what ridiculous question is this x plus y plus z is 9 and this guy is asking some non-negative integral solution leave it here all right what kind of question all second one find the number of 
positive integral solution positive integers means what x y z should be greater than or equal to 1 the first one you are saying that greater than or equal to 0 this is greater than or equal to 1 here each element was greater than or equal to 0 in the standardized format so as good as seeing the question each child receives at least one marble similar already it is pretty similar okay next one non negative integral solutions non negative integral solutions such that y should be minimum 2 z should be minimum 3 same as one fellow gets two marbles the other fellow gets three marbles very similar to the previous question again all it number of non negative integral solution such that x not equal to y y not equal to z nothing but all it no two children receive the same number of marbles in the sense i can give a different outlook to the same questions what we did all together i can give a very different outlook to this are you understanding what i'm talking Guys, are you understanding what I'm talking? Concept can remain same. The presentation can widely change. Presentation can widely change. The moment you give the fourth question, think from the fourth question perspective. When we say that non-negative integrals were not x equal to y equal to z, it is very difficult for the people to think that I will do 11c2 minus that case 1 minus that case 2 kind of, right? But the point is you should understand the underlying objective, underlying concept. Otherwise, it will definitely trick. This is what happens in the exams technical. Are you all getting this quickly? Are you all getting this what I'm talking? How I can give a different outlook to the same concept? Many different outlooks. We will explore them in today's lecture and tomorrow's lecture. We'll, of course, we will explore. But let's first understand the concept and then exploring is a lot more easier. Exploring is a lot more easier. Right? Okay, good. Very good. Let's take a look at one of the cat questions as it is. Right? Let's take a look at one of the cat questions as it is yeah here we go okay having done all this let's try and see what is this cat question is all about try and answer this guys i will give good two minutes and i certainly expect an answer on this question what is this question about Okay, all right. That's a good reflection time. Listen, everybody listen, everybody listen. So, this is a different presentation of the same concept, in fact. So, look at the question because when it comes in between thick and thick of the questions, it becomes very confusing, right? Because at least now I'm, I'm, I'm kind of like, you know, kind of... Uh, 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 or what I what I did all it with the mind is a kind of a conditioned mind. I know that somewhere I have to use this x plus y plus z. I have to use it somewhere because it's a conditioned mind. So now so this question comes in between loads of other questions. Trust me, it leads to sufficiently or it leads to sufficient confusion if we don't have orientation to different uh, question types that can be created on the concept. All right, yeah. So let's take a look here. Hey, what has happened here? A bag contains unlimited number of unlimited, unlimited. It's a manufacturing unit. Let's say unlimited number of balls of four distinct colors. 
let's say that if it is unlimited a child said that okay so why don't you segregate them into four colored bags okay it's unlimited very difficult to segregate let's say that we made an effort to segregate as much as we could let's assume that the colors are red there is yellow there is blue and there is green hey, how many balls are there it is as as such it is unlimited it's as such it is unlimited fill them with as many as you want fill them fill them with as many as you want dot 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 dot, dot. fill them fill them with red balls because it's anyway unlimited it is not that two red balls are there three red balls are there man it is unlimited it's a manufacturing unit you fill them okay come to the next one and then fill them with as many yellow ones as you want fill them fill them enough of yellow ones are there because all right now so still the larger bag is still here assume that there is a larger bag where there is all mixed colors from there you are trying to put something into these boxes let's assume let's assume that you are trying to segregate and put them into four different bins right you are trying to put them and then there is another one with enough number of blue ones enough number of blue ones there is another one with enough number of green ones enough number of green ones because it's unlimited this is infinity technically unlimited is infinity closer to infinity count less you can't sit and count there already it doesn't make sense to sit and count okay what is that author is now child has come now now bring the child here you just at least put them into three big bins all right three big bins and now you are saying a child that hey come kiddo you click these 12 mark 12 balls you you want 12 a child has come in front of you and to the child you are telling that how many balls you want the child said that sir i want dozen balls dozen dozen balls is what i want okay now okay for you all right because it's unlimited you will get you will trouble yourself i put them into four baskets i will we are trying to segregate them sure all right now we already put enough things into these four baskets one of them is called as red basket yellow blue and green you want 12 go ahead and pick it now child can do this child wants all red therefore child might at the end of it say assume that you are standing near the door when the child comes child brought all red ones okay that is a solution right or you may say that no 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 child brought six red and five yellow one blue and no green yeah that's another solution therefore now i am saying that you tell me what all different configuration the child can arrive at so therefore you say that hey 12 is just a count 12 is just a count and hence you say that hey these are 12 axes what is this 12 axes 12 is just a count that's what you are trying to say and then you are saying that hey, how many pluses do i have three pluses is what do i have therefore three y and hence you say that hey the child can pick this in 15 factorial divided by 12 factorial three factorial ways nothing but 15 c3 all of you know how to calculate this 15 into 14 into 13 divided by 3 into 2 into 1 simplification perspective you all would be masters of it that's not a worry here at this point in time therefore you say this is seven times all right, this is 3, 5 times. Therefore, you say 91 into 5, which is nothing but 455 is the required answer. Kind of understood this question? Did you understand the presentation? Did you get this? How they can make it clumsy? This question comes as a part of some questions, right? There are 20, 30 questions in between that this fellow pops up. It, it can create a thorough confusion. It can as well create a confusion. Therefore, we need to understand the underlying concept clearly. Otherwise, highly likely chances that we will mark something else as the answer. Making sense? Everybody making sense? Are you all learning something? Right? Yeah, yeah. Right, all right, guys. Okay, all right. So what we'll do is, all right, what we'll do is probably, all right, I will close the lecture today. I will continue this tomorrow. But if your something is not clear to you today, ensure that you watch this video again. Please watch this part of the video once again, because tomorrow we will definitely go a little deeper, right? Because I have to take you from where we are. We spent sufficient time in understanding the concept, maybe about 30 odd minutes we spent in understanding the concept of why it is n factorial by p factorial q factorial but we will get the different exposure tomorrow and we will also go a little deeper as we go along i will tell you what time etc you can keep a tab on the youtube there you could see either we'll try and do it at four or we will try and do it at uh, do it at 10 whichever the timing you have. so what what we are doing is tonight we will come back and we will again set the foundation for one of the concepts right tonight we will come back and set one of our foundation for one of the concepts of 
binary logic. We'll set the foundation because that's pretty important. Once we set, we can we'll be able to do the puzzles. Cat has asked in as a part of DILR some puzzles built on puzzles built on binary logic. That is a truth teller, liar, alternator. Oh, that's they've been asking since 1992. All right, they've been asking since 1992. All right, that's been one of the important logics that they are kind of covering every now and then. So, so we'll, we'll try and explore that. Before we explore, we will set the foundation today. Once we set the foundation, tomorrow we can explore the questions which appeared in CAT. All right, that's what we do. And tonight I will tell you when we will do the remaining portion of this integral solution area. That is what is the upcoming lecture. If you have liked the videos, press the like button. Before you leave, you press the like button, share the link with others. Let them also kind of watch this, right? Let them also kind of watch this. Yeah, all right. So I think this is a good beginning to this particular month. How many of you think that, yeah, yeah, it's okay, a good beginning to this month, a particular month, or at least a okay beginning to this particular month? I'm not sure what I did with you guys. Yeah, but then at least how many of you think that, yeah, yeah, it, it looks like, okay, it's, it's, one of, it's one of the good beginning to this particular month. This lecture was a good beginning. If you think, yeah, it was a good beginning, you can put that in the chat. Hmm. Ah, Sahil, you don't have to put all of that, dear, groceries. Hey, we all have daily course. Don't be silly. Don't be silly. Right? Unless it's pretty emergency, you don't have to share it with everybody. All right. Yeah. Let's mature. Let's grow up. What to write, what not to write. All right. Thank you. Good. Good. Oh, it's not just meant to Sahil. I will just use some instances to edify everyone. Right? That's the point. So we need to be mindful what we type, what we not type. Yeah. Ah, Risha, we will get that. We'll get that exposure. Don't worry. We'll get that exposure. So after tomorrow's lecture, you'll be you'll, you'll be able to understand. Don't worry. Right? Ha. Huh? So we will get that exposure tomorrow. After that, it would be comfortable. You will understand where to use, where not to use. That's not a worry. Hmm. Right. Right. Ah, huh? try to reach the group, Varshini. Try to reach the group. Put that in the group. Right. Try to reach the group. Somebody will answer in the group. If I get time, or if nobody is answering, if nobody is not aware of the concept, I will try and answer. Otherwise, sure, all right, there are so many folks in the group and they're all smart and they all help each other. So they will also try and help it. Not a worry. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Go through this video once again if some portion is not clear and get prepared for tomorrow because we will hit the depth tomorrow. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what is that, Risha? Give the trigger in the group. I didn't understand. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, you are responding to Varchini. All right. Okay. Okay. Fine, guys. Okay, I will stop here. I will see you at 10 p.m. in the night. So catch up your uh, catch your lunch. Have your dinner. Sorry. Have your dinner, and we'll meet probably right after your dinner. Have a cup of tea or coffee. Then we'll come back and do a little bit of binary logic. It can confuse us a little bit. So that already right, stay alert at 10 when we do this concept okay yeah all right see you again at tennis bye till then stay blessed bye bye